Matt, you know, Matt, they say short and sweet. Well, his last one wasn't so sweet. He only pitched three innings, and he and his team are expecting a lot more out of him. They really expect him to go deeper in this one and give himself and the team a chance to win this one. First pitch, 640. The windup and the 0 1. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now, nothing in two. Fly ball out toward left center field. Peralta is under it, and that's the first out of the inning. That is second. The second base. Brad Miller. So next to the plate for the Phils, Brad Miller, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. Now the pitch. One out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Another 0 and 2 coming. On he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one out double. That is third. The third baseman, Alec Bohm. Digging in, Alec Bohm. And with numbers like those, he's putting himself in contention for some rookie of the year hardware if he can keep it up. First offering on its way. A bouncer up the middle. Marte has it. Throw on to first. Two gone. That is four. The catcher. J.P. Real Muto. Coming to the plate now. J.T. Real Muto. Trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner at third and two gone. From the belt. The pitch. Miller on third with two out. Hard hit ball to short. And a base hit as the Phillies will strike first in this one. They lead it one nothing. I know we sit up here and talk about it a lot. Just grabbing the momentum, trying to tack on early runs as quick as possible. It allows the pitcher to go out there, relax, attack the strike zone. It keeps everybody involved. That two out RBI, I know it's One early, ball, but that just gives everyone a chance to just relax and compete. Well, guys, you take a look at this Diamondback squad as they begin play here tonight. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, what I need. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Phillies get a couple of hits here, and it leads to one on the scoreboard. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Stepping into the box, Tim LoCastro. He'll lead things off here, here in the bottom We're half the of the first. Back. Fastball just misses. Yeah. That's ball one. These Whoa, Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they come in winners of two straight and looking to get things turned around in what hasn't been all that amazing a stretch for them. Yeah, Matty, they started this road trip off right. Yesterday, there was one common theme. There was great starting pitching. Guy went out and absolutely executed. Hopefully, he passes the baton to this guy today, and he goes out and follows suit. Here's another one, too. Left side. And there's one gone to start the night. Batting 
second. The second baseman, Petel. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the infielder, Cattell Marte. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of that ball. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Solo shot to right center. 19th home run for him on the season. And the Diamondbacks strike here to make it a 1-1 ball game. Well, his offense spotted him a run in the top of the inning, and he just gave it right back. That's what happens when you plant one in a hitter's wheelhouse. Sent out of here in a hurry. Strike one to start the at-bat. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Here's the one-and-one one delivery. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Looks like that bomb. Oh, no, that hit him. Nice recovery play to get the second out, but we'll have to make sure he's okay on the mound. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. And he won't offer it that. Too high. One and two. One and two is the count. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger, and the side is retired. But the Diamondbacks come back to tie it on this solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second, all even at one apiece. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. He was an offensive force in the first half and currently sits atop the league's home run leaderboard. Harper. Yeah, Matty, he got off to such a hot start. He was able to relax and just be himself, and he has been absolutely killing the baseball. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. A solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. Home run number 42 on the season, and it's given the Phils a 2-1 to one lead. When you play with the big part of the field, it doesn't surprise me that you lead the league in home runs. That was an absolute bullet to dead center. What an impressive swing. Stepping in, Reese Hoskins. He's a long ball threat, of course, currently number four in the National League home run race. Swing and a drive to right center. Hey, that ball's going to be way out of here. Back to back home runs. Reese Hoskins with a solo shot. 34 home runs now on the year, and it gives the Phillies a three to one lead. Here's Matt Joyce now. Another excellent Matt. swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. He'll enter play here with that average down in the low 200s. And even 20 home runs and 28 RBIs. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there. And it's 0-2 now. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. 
Stepping in now, Zach Wheeler. Softly hit out to short. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. You know, Dero, coming from a guy that made his living throwing a baseball, anytime a pitcher gets a base hit, I know that wasn't hit hard, but it's going to go down as a bullet in the scorebook. Yeah, 100%. I know it's frustrating to watch the opposing pitcher get a knock, kind of the knock you expected. But you know what? He put the ball in play, and now he causes a problem. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Herrera has done the job and the fans have rewarded him as he got to represent his league over the All-Star break. Anytime you can change the scoreboard with one swing at a bat, and this guy can certainly do that, the fans are going to act accordingly. Very deserved that the fans would vote him into the All-Star game. Working for the punch out and the offering. Fouled away. Ready on 0 and 2. This is hit the other way out toward left field. After it is Peralta. He makes the running play. Two down. The batter number 50. Second baseman. Brad Miller. Digging in for his second at bat. Brad Miller. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Down the first baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Two out with the man at first. And another foul ball. The 0-2 once more. Fouled off. Hit out towards second. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Wow, and the hits just keep piling up for them. Take a look at the numbers here. That's already six hits, and we're only in the second inning. We'll see if they can keep this up as the innings go on. Into the box, Alec Bone as he rips it on the ground to second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throw on to first, and a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Philadelphia is on top, three to one. So striding forward now, Stephen Vogt he brings a hit streak that currently sits at six games entering play. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And it's fouled away. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. There's a ball ripped toward the gap in left center. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll get there as the Diamondbacks get a man into scoring position on the leadoff double. Boy, after that base knock right there, d -Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tucked, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. And he fouls this one off. The 0 1 pitch. Hot shot down the line. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. Back to back doubles now, and that's a great way to get an inning going. The leadoff man shows him how it's done, and he comes right behind him following suit, lacing a double of his own. Could be a big inning if this continues. 
So coming to the plate, Eduardo Escobar. And he's someone they're going to have to watch out for. You can see he's been a tough out over the last couple of series. And that's out number one. Batting nine. The pitcher, Mero Kelly. So striding in, Merrill Kelly, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Owen oh, won the count. One out and a runner on third. Yeah. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Oh, what a nasty pitch right there. Batter thought it was going to hit him, and it ends up breaking into the zone for a strike. And no. he'll take it to the bag himself for the second out, but meanwhile, the run is in now to back. score. Good job there to put the ball on the ground and pick up the tying run. This one has the makings of being a close game until the very end. Up next for Arizona, Tim LaCastro. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fouled away. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hit to short. And that's through for a base hit. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two strikes against the batter. He's going to have to put that in the memory bank because that guy made a nice two-strike approach right there. Made a nice two-strike adjustment. He's set and the pitch. Cattel right, Marte stands in as he looks at a cold oh, strike. No. Marte is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go now to the top of the third, and we are all tied at three apiece. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, JT Realmuto. Here comes the first pitch. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Swung on and chopped to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The batter. One gone in the inning now, and here's Didi Gregorius. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Another one sent foul. Swing and a little blooper to center. Ahmed onto the grass. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Right. Harper. Here's Bryce Harper now, and he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. Most good breaking ball hitters will hit good breaking balls. And that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch that was down in the zone. And he handled it really nice. Bases are empty here with two men out. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. This one smoked the other way, high and deep to left. But he'll get there as he flags it down just shy of the wall. And with that, the side is retired. Phillies down in order, through two and a half. It's three apiece. Trying to pick things up where we left we off. David Peralta back. as we move on to the Don't bottom of inning that. number three. First pitch on its way. Huh? 
And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And here's a pitch. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. In there, strike one. Especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate, that's just a great job to get your mechanics back onto you and establish yourself yeah. back in the strike zone. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off-speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Harper on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Up next to the Diamondback, the catcher, Stephen. Standing in, Stephen Vogt. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, and get you a ribby. Called a strike on the outer half, 0 and 1. Hey, the way this guy on the mound's been struggling to find his own, I'm not mad at the guy taking the pitch. Runner on first, two away, all tied at three apiece. Folks in a hole, 0-2 oh to two. him. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Bullet back up the middle. Herrera is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One left for the Diamondbacks. We played three, and our score, 3-3. Three, three. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring up Reese Hoskins. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit sharp, flag it down. Adapt and persevere. That's what I always said on the offensive side. Down in the count right there. Batter hits a ground ball the other way. He's able to fight off a tough count and get himself a base hit. To the plate now, Matt Joyce. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. These guys are in perfect position to break through right here and to take the lead. There is without question nothing tougher than back-to-back -back singles. You don't know if they're going to bunt. You don't know. They can do so. They have so many options at their disposal right now. At the plate now, Zach Wheeler. Popped foul, and it looks like that's going to make it into the VIP seats. Set with the 0-1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate 
and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Marte for one. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. And kids, this is why you always go hard into second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. So first and third with one away, and that'll bring up the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. From the belt, kicks and deals. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And that'll bring in the go-ahead run from third. It's now a 4-3 to three game. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Standing in now, Brad Miller. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Four runs, nine hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And he falls behind 0-2. In his career, Miller has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. A double play ball to second. Four, six, three on a nice dig at first, and the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More baseball on M. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Tori Lavello about the Diamondbacks' offensive production. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Nick. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Nick Ahmed is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Slider, and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2. The numbers are definitely not with the batter here. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is Herrera. But the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. And that's the, the first, first out of the inning. Five. Eduardo Escobar. So here's Eduardo Escobar comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss, Still but he's one. right on here. One strike. Tried to get him one to one. go after the slider, but it's one and one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Joyce is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now back. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Diamondbacks, Merrill Kelly. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. No balls and a strike to count. Wheeler into his motion. Here it is on 0 and 1. And he popped him up. Miller ranging into the outfield. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So one, two, three, go the Diamondbacks. Score holds at 4-3. Ready for another chance? Alec Bone. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Alec Bone. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, Matt. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. Calhoun has a read on it, and that's the first out of the inning. Now batter, 
the catcher. JT. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, JT Real Muto. One for two on his line so far in the game. Here comes the first pitch. Line to the right side. Calhoun is there. Two down. Now batting. Shortstop. Petey Gregorio. So bases are empty here with two gone. And here's the left-handed hitting shortstop, Didi Gregorius now. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Gregorius is exactly a 260 hitter. The windup and the 0-1. We're in the fifth inning of a four to three ball game here. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And at the play to be the speedy outfielder, Tim LeCastro. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. One and up. One and one to the D backs leadoff man. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Two one. And he misses again. Ball three. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. And he's taking here and looks at strike two right Hold down down. the middle. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. He's really struggled with his command in this game. No doubt about it. But to make things worse, he just lost one of the fastest guys in the ballpark. Digging in the switch hitter, Patel Marte. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. And it's fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball and the count holds it 0 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get an auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Three runs, five hits, no errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Grounded to the right. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now back. You know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you got to be a little frustrated right here that that ball found the hole. Yeah, that's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch, and a guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not. And now, you've got a couple of guys on. Here comes Wheeler's 0-2. Popped him up. Hoskins moving to his left makes the play one away now batter, right fielder. Cole. Cole Calhoun will stand Calhoun. in now as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield a swing and this one is blasted to right field nothing's gonna stop it and goodbye this one ain't coming back So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Twelve home runs for him now thus far, and it's now six to four.
Oh, a little quick jump right there. He does it in a variety of different ways. That time, first pitch out of the gate, he was coming on blue. At the plate, Christian now Walker. Back. First baseman. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Barely able to make contact, down 0 and 2 now. Pitch on the way. On to first, and there are two down. The battle, the catcher, he there. Digging in now, Stephen Vogt. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. No balls in one strike. Three runs already home here. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Lifted down the line and left. On the move is Joyce, but this will land untouched. The one two. Sent on the ground out to second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. But the Diamondbacks are up for three thanks to this three run home run. Five innings complete. It's a two run lead now. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Bryce Harper. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And he fouls this one off. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Now a swing, and he pops it foul behind the plate. But this will land untouched. The next 0 2. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And gone. An absolute bomb. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game. And this will make things interesting at this point. It's now a 6-5 game. We're watching an impressive power display today. With that one, these two teams have now hit a combined five homers in this game. Matty V, this is turning into home run derby part two. Dero, five bombs already in this one. Yeah, there's a fight at the bat rack for both teams right here. A lot of mislocations right out over the heart of the plate, and neither side is missing. Reese Hunt. This is at that one, it's nothing in one. The windup and the 0 1. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. You hear that phrase, climb the ladder all the time, and that's pretty much what he did right there. When you change the hitter's eye level with each pitch in that at bat, it becomes very hard for him to adjust and put the bat on the ball. He made that strikeout look real easy. Stepping in now, Matt Joyce. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A hit and two tries for him so far. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Fouled away. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again.
The next 0-2. Swing and a liner. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Andrew McCutcheon will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 22, Andrew McCutcheon. Fouled off. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. 15 long balls, 27 driven in. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. McCutcheon, or just Kutch as he's frequently referred to, he was selected in the first round back in 2005. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Bills do get one back on the solo home. Archie Bradley enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nick Ahmed is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. and this is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is Herrera, but the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. And there's one away now. The third baseman, number five, Eduardo Escobar. Eduardo Escobar standing in. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Now the pitch. Low for ball one. One out, nobody on. Sent on the ground out to second. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time. And that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Josh Van Meter will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 19. And that misses ball one. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. On that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Two out, nobody on. Lifted the other way out to left center. On the move is Joyce. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Diamondbacks down in order as it remains a 6-5 ball game. Juan Lopez is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 50. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring up the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. Here's the first pitch to him. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. The next 0 2. Misses for ball right one. And it's fouled away. The one two. 
Oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. The batter number 50, second baseman, Brad Miller. So coming to the plate, Brad Miller, two for three with a double on his line so far. First offering on its way. Ah, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Popped him up. Walker is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting. Third baseman, Alec Bohm. Now batting, Alec Bohm. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Marte fields it cleanly. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. This one remains close. It's six to five. Bottom of the inning now, and next it'll be the outfielder, Tim LoCastro. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Hit on the ground toward the left. Gregorius showing off the range. And safe at first on a bang-bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. And now it looks like they want some time to review that one here, so they'll check with their replay guys. The call on the field was safe, but it was definitely a bang-bang play and tough for us to tell at full speed. Cattel Marte will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ballgame. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. Anyway, it's nothing in one. He's good, he's good, Runners he's good. off for second. Strike called. Now the throw down. Offline throw, but they still got him. Good job of getting the tag down there. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a bag. But he got rid of it quickly, and it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. The next 0 2. Lifted down the line and left. In there, a base hit. Well, I think it's safe to say the ice is melted on this guy. He had been cold coming into this game, but that being his third knock, I guarantee you, my man. And he'll take it to the bag for the out, and there's your unassisted. Tyler Clippard has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 36, Tyler. Ready to begin the eighth, and next to hit is the catcher, JT Real Muto. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Here's the 0-1. Oh, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Made him look silly with that one. Check swing in the dirt, but he went around. And he makes the throw to first. Real Muto is retired, and there's one away. Now The So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. In past history against Tyler Clifford, he's hitless in three at-bats. Here comes the first pitch. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Bases are empty, one man out. 
And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Well, this has been a bullpen game for some time now, but let's go back and review the performances of the two starters, neither of whom turned in an outing to remember. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate. His performance in this one really speaks to Hellett pitching today. Yeah, usually it's the other way around, but when you sit in the top three in the home run lead in Major League no Baseball, you're probably calling the shots yourself right now. This guy is on fire. He's already got a multi-homer game and looking for more. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Still a tight ball game, it's six to five. Coming to the plate now, Cole Calhoun. And to start out go. the inning, it looks like pass. they've decided to stick with the, the right same field. reliever out there, Go Dan. On. They have, Matt. Cal I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. And he fouls this one off. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on oh, base is, and, and it's true. So in the, the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Chasing after it is Herrera. He makes the running play. Two down. Stepping now in, Stephen Vogt. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. So 1, 2, 3 go the Diamondbacks. They lead it, however, it's 6 to 5. Your attention, please. A ninth inning save situation is at hand, so on to shut the door, the closer, Joaquin Soria. Reese Hoskins will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Hoskins behind the count 0 and 2. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. Here's the 0-2. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Protect there with two strikes, and he just got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Now in the box, Matt Joyce. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch of the at bat. On to first, and now the Phillies are down to their final out. Gene Segura will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Swing and a liner, and that'll get down for a two-out single. So Odubel Herrera will get a chance to bat following the two-out base hit. What an unbelievable at bat right there in the ninth inning. Game on the line to get yourself on base to create an opportunity for your boy right here to be a hero. Odubel Herrera to the plate now as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1. And this is swung on and missed so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. Fouled away. And 
And now this crowd announced at around 22,000 comes to their feet. Fouled off. A runner on first with two away. Quick check on that tying run at first. And he's back standing. Philly down to their last strike. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about. And they definitely did that right here. Coming through with a big win at home. And tonight's one-run game comes to an end. Six to five, the final. The Arizona Diamondbacks used a nice... Fit.